Hey everyone, my name is Jana, but you can call me JJ. You ever scroll through Instagram or Facebook and see these videos on how they're making these recipes, or maybe you're flipping through a recipe book and you see a gorgeous image of a finished meal and you think, man, that looks great. I wonder if I could do that. But is it really as easy as they make it look? Well, I'm gonna help you find out. I am going to recreate these recipes and I'm gonna see if they are truly as easy as they make it look. Welcome to Recipe Pass or Fail. So for today's pass or fail recipe, I thought I would try and find something a little special because tonight's New Year's Eve. We're not gonna go out. My husband had surgery a few weeks ago, so we're just still kind of laying low and recovering from that, gonna have a nice night in. Finding the recipe, I think, is always the hardest part. Oh, here, this one looks good with salmon. Six salmons, oh my God. I'm gonna keep that recipe for a group dinner some night. Let me go back. Healthy air fryer Parmesan chicken with broccoli. I don't have an air fryer. Moving on. Chicken under a brick. The bones are removed from a small chicken to flatten it and help it cook evenly. Air chilled overnight. Okay, well that's just too much work. I'm not gonna be doing that. Moving on. Well, this looks promising. Lemon and herb chicken with asparagus and roasted red potatoes for two. Oh, I like that. That looks easy enough. I think we have a winner. Alexa, add five red potatoes to my grocery list. I've added five red potatoes to grocery. Okay, I have that, I have that. Alexa, add one large chicken breast to my grocery list. I've added one large chicken breast to grocery. Wait a minute, how does that work? How can I, can I get one chicken breast? That's weird, one chicken breast cut in two. Guess I'll get two and use the other one later. <laughs> I don't know, flour, do I have flour? One cup chicken stock. Zest of lemon. Is that really necessary to zest the lemon? I don't know. Half pound asparagus. I'm thinking we're gonna change the asparagus to green beans because I'm not a fan of the weed sticks. wine while cooking. Not for the dish, just because I always cook with wine. <laughs> I know nothing about wine, I just know I like it. So, yeah, let's go with that. It's pretty, right? I didn't do any prep ahead of time because I want to see when they say, oh, it's going to take this many minutes, are they accurate? This recipe says that it is easy and that it's gonna take 45 minutes total and 15 minutes of that is prep. The only prep I did was pouring the chicken stock into a cup and cutting up the potatoes, that's it. So let's find out. Let's see if it's actually gonna take us 15 minutes to prep this and 45 minutes total. Now they want me to do half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, but I just feel like that's a lot, so we're just gonna give it a hint. It says one teaspoon oil. I just don't feel like that's enough. I'm hesitant to leave them there. I feel like they're gonna stick. Okay, so it's time to flip these bad boys. As I mentioned, they only said to put one teaspoon of oil in, which I'm not crazy about. So far, they're not sticking. So far they look good, we'll see. Another four minutes on this side. This does call for the zest of one lemon, which I do have a zester. Look at that. Who knew? It was in my drawer. Let's see, how do we zest? I think we just go like this, right? Okay, time to remove the chicken from the pan. And just put it on a plate. It says we're gonna finish cooking it later. Reduce heat to low. But see, that doesn't really work with this cook stove. See, this is where sometimes I feel like these recipes go wrong because they obviously are professional chefs working on gas stoves. And this is a electric cooktop. So if I turn this to low, it's not gonna do it any good. It's not gonna go low. 
you know how long it takes this thing to cool down? So then we need to put the butter in the skillet, which I'm gonna do with it not even on there because this is gonna melt in like no time. Sprinkle the flour on top of the butter. Whisk to cook off raw flour taste. Hmm. <laughs> Getting interesting. Okay, we need to add our chicken stock while vigorously whisking. Add the lemon zest. Juice of half a lemon. So now it says add asparagus to the pot. Interesting, we don't have a pot, we have a skillet, which it's called it a skillet several times. Am I supposed to put the asparagus, which we're not doing asparagus, we're doing green beans. Am I supposed to put that in here? Wine break. Gotta love cooking with wine. I tell you, I have read and read through this recipe about putting the asparagus, which we're using green beans, but putting the asparagus in the pot till it turns green. I think that's a whole separate thing and I don't want to screw this up so I'm not going to put my green beans in the skillet with our gravy because that's where the chicken's got to go later. Definitely not clear in this recipe. So I'm just gonna, luckily I have the microwavable bag of green beans so guess what. Okay so the timer's gone off on our potatoes. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. That's another thing that's confusing about this recipe is at the end here, it says to put our chicken into the sauce and cook it for another three minutes to make sure our chicken is completely done. Well, why are we not using a meat thermometer? That's what I always do. 165 degrees, chicken done. Not 165, chicken not done. And it says to cook it on low for three minutes to cook chicken. In fact, I think I'm gonna take its temperature. Oh yeah, see that's not even, no. In fact, I'm gonna pull one out. It has been resting a long time. Let's take a look at the inside of it. Oh, Jesus, that is pink. Oh my God. I'm taking it out of that gravy. That's never gonna work. So now we're improvising. I'm just adding some oil to this and we're just gonna cook these things because they are so far from done, it isn't even funny. So now that I've got that one cut in half, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them. Oh my God, look at that. Now let's cook them to 165. Line break. Okay, we've got a lot of sizzling going on here. Let's see. 153. Nope. Oh, there we have a winner. Finally. Okay, let's put him on the plate. 142. This is awful. No, I'm thinking this is a big time recipe fail because these guys are not done. All the other stuff is done. We're still waiting on chicken. Some chicken's done, some chicken isn't. Okay, finally got the chicken done. This is the finished product. Now, again, our recipe says to add sauce to the chicken just fine but then it says to also put it all over the asparagus or in our case the green beans and okay, that's just a lot of sauce so the recipe did say it was going to take 45 minutes and it wasn't bad i think i got it done in about 55. And usually when i do a recipe i allow for an extra 10 minutes because there's always something that goes a little differently and here's the finished product here comes the test let's find out pretty good i definitely wouldn't want it any more lemony than this the original recipe says to add more lemon if you want. I would not want more lemon. The lemon is very prevalent in what's going on there. If anything, I think I might like just a little more pepper or salt maybe. There you have it. So I'm gonna post the original recipe and I will also post the revised version that I did and you can try it for yourself and let me know if it's a recipe pass or fail for you. For me, it's a fail because the original recipe didn't hold up to what it was supposed to do, but let me know how it works out for you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button because you are not gonna wanna miss a single video that I have coming your way.